It's the warning signs in the months before a man allegedly went on a crime spree that included two stabbings on the South Shore. Police say Jared Revisa stabbed four girls at a theater and then two workers at a McDonald's. So he's now being held, and as WBZ's Louisa Muller shows us, a court psychologist says Revisa is showing signs of mental illness. An active psychotic illness. Jared Revisa showed little expression as a court appointed psychologist described his two year difficulty with mental health issues. Very serious uh, delusions in which he believes that um, his family is involved with the mafia. The 26 year old from Chilmark Martha's Vineyard ended up in a Plymouth courtroom after police say he went on a stabbing spree Saturday, followed by a police pursuit that ended in sandwich with his Porsche in flames and stabbed the male employee in the forearm with what appeared to be a long kitchen knife. Saturday night, witnesses say he argued with a McDonald's worker at the Plymouth rest stop, then stabbed him at the drive through window. Police say he then went inside, stabbing another restaurant worker three times. And then he comes to the front door and he, he stopped to me and then I'm a, I run to the safe room. We spoke with that 21-year-old victim who was assaulted her first day on the job. I don't feel good. I don't feel safe in this city. Earlier that day, police say he randomly stabbed four girls at the AMC movie theater in Braintree, all suffering non-life-threatening injuries. And Connecticut police say he's the suspect in the murder of 70-year-old Bruce Feldman in Deep River, Connecticut. Feldman's body discovered Saturday afternoon after a visa allegedly smashed the window of a nearby home with a shovel. The blonde man in the jumpsuit has a different persona online. A website names him the CEO of a, quote, renowned full-service digital marketing agency who resides between Beverly Hills and Martha's Vineyard. But court documents show this is not his first brush with the law. Police say he assaulted his father on Martha's Vineyard in April, his dad telling them he had a mental break. Revisa is headed to Bridgewater State Hospital, where he'll stay for roughly 20 days to evaluate his competency. In Plymouth, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.